Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be playing some Doom Classic Complete Circa the Sony PlayStation 3, a game that is no longer available, but uh, we're going to be playing anyway. Now this has pretty much everything. Ultimate Doom, Doom 2 Hell on Earth, Final Doom, both parts, as well as the Master Levels, and No Rest for the Living. So all the Doom Classic you could possibly want. Um, a lot of that's not available on the current current gen releases on PlayStation 4, but it's still all here. Luckily, I bought it back in the day. So here we go. Let's uh, jump in. I'm going to go, uh, perhaps against my better judgment, I'll go with the standard difficulty here. Okay. Now, this is Doom in all its classic glory. Uh, this game has aged incredibly well, and it's still a lot of fun to play. Uh, got some messes here. Is he another fallen marine? Sorry, my friend. I will avenge you. We'll avenge all our fallen friends. Um, people. No people to bore me. Da, da, da. Don't worry, I'll. I saw the switch, I know about it. But, uh. We're gonna go outside here. You can see it. It's a lovely day out today on, uh. The Mars moon of Phobos. And yes, that is where we are. Now I'm gonna show you guys this secret here. I do know a few things about these early levels. That opens up a door in here. Uh, you can run out there and collect that super armor if you like, but we don't need it. We don't need no super armor where we're going. Ah, uh, my fallen friend, I will avenge you right now. These are zombies. They have a hit scan, which means that uh, as long as you're in range, uh, when they uh, attack or I should say firing animation triggers, it automatically damages you. So there's no sense trying to dodge them, but you can use cover. You can duck behind cover and pop out and shoot them. I was a little carefree there because uh, I do have a little experience with this, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, another one. Okay, got him before he saw us. Good, now we got a couple more here. Let's duck in here. A little bit of ducking. Okay, we took care of him. And there's an imp up there. Our first proper demon, not a zombie. Takes a little bit to get them with the pistol. Now you'll notice you can't aim upward, it just kind of automatically goes up. Alright, uh, that's because this game isn't actually 3D. That's also why there's no crouching and no jumping, because uh, you're, act you're basically technically playing a top-down fighter, or shooter, I should say. And uh, here's our first secret. Uh, kind of sticks out a little bit. Our second secret, I should say. And uh, I do not think that there's baddies here. No. Okay, we're going to run out. Now there is a sprint button uh, on the PlayStation 3. It's holding L2. And uh, that can reduce damage that you take when you cross hazardous chemical platforms like that. Also, yes, it's a health box. It has a pill on it. Normally they would have a Red Cross, but the Red Cross International Organization didn't like it being in Doom, so they removed it. Die, die, monster, die. Die a thousand deaths. Now since uh, those demons actually throw fireballs, you can't actually dodge them. So, epic doge, as they say. Uh, we'll collect all the collectibles here. I'm not going to head through the exit right away. We actually did this really well. I didn't take a lot of damage. Uh, I didn't play this game as a kid. Uh, back in 93, I was a, a uh, wide-eyed little nine-year-old uh, fawning over his brand new Sega Genesis. Now that's open now. We run across to here. Okay. Um, ah, yes. My boomstick, Doom Guy Lakey Lakey. Um, and yeah, we. Uh, I was just playing. Sonic the Hedgehog, and uh, gotta zoom, 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 zoom. Got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a lift there. Um, yeah, I was just, just trying to get my brand new Genesis playing Sonic the Hedgehog and X Men. So I knew nothing of uh, PC games or Doom, and I would not know for some time. By the time I did get a PC, uh, my first shooter was Unreal Tournament, which this was a very fun game on its own. Uh, but it's definitely not Doom. So I am playing this game through all the way for the first time on my own. Um, although, like I said, I have played the first few levels of it. 
so I kind of know a little bit, um, but I'm going to make my first honest attempt to complete the game in true. So that was the first stage, the hangar. I believe I got everything. Uh, I missed a few items, but that was all the secrets. And, uh, and I didn't, my time was a little long, but I wasn't doing a speed run, so, you know. Now we're heading to the nuclear plant. We are, like I said, on Phobos here. On, um, I might have to concentrate a little bit here, so if I wander out, I apologize. Uh, this is a lab where they have been conducting two of them here. Okay. Did that get him? Nope. Hope I got two of them in one shot. Good. And there's one coming this way. Got him. Oh, my fellow Marine. I will avenge thee. I already have. I've killed many a zombie. Oh. Didn't know that was coming. That's a lift. Can you take me up for some goodies? Um, so yeah, I haven't played this all the way through. I have only played the first few stages. A few times, really. Um, and it is a good game. It's aged quite well, all things considered. Who's still... Oh! I'm circle straight in like it matters. Okay. <laughs> My boomstick takes care of all. Um... I am looking forward to it. This is a genuinely enjoyable game, uh, and it's aged pretty well, all things considered. Uh, like I said, it came out in 93, and uh, had quite a few renditions. Um, which way do I want to go? The other way? The other way. Yes. And first there's this. Come on. You didn't fool me. Okay. Hit the switch. Get the backpack, so now we can carry extra ammo. And we don't actually need blue armor, only powers you up to 100%. So if you're under 100%, it brings you back up. So we got the two doors here. Which door are we going to enter? Which door? Which door? Uh, this area is actually... Ooh, hello! Pretty big. So we killed that zombie. And hitting that other switch before opened this area up for us. So I'll go ahead and run out here. Okay, and... Uh, so yeah, this was originally a computer game. Here is the, uh, I forget what they call that, the Lost Soul or something. But yeah, it gives you max 200, or uh, plus 100% health, I believe it goes. Maxed me out because I was already over 100%. And there is Old Painless. Ready to help us out through this uh, research facility that's been taken over by demons uh, on the moon Phobos over Mars. So... It's a research facility over Mars. That's pretty much the best of it. And I just figured it Maybe that's very good for these guys. Totally off. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, I have all the extra armor and health. Another fallen comrade in the red key. I avenged you, sir. You served our, our system well, I guess. Um, all right. So yeah, you're the last Marine surviving on this installation, fighting off a demonic invasion, heavily inspired by uh, Aliens, which originally was going to be an adap adaptation of Aliens, and uh, it wound up becoming its own thing. I got a couple of them with that. Saw you. Uh, now the screen is a little small on my television, so I'm trying my best, guys, but don't worry, we'll get everything. Let's go up these stairs first. Oh, me. See the old painless here? Handles pretty much everything. Oh! Hello! Now the, uh, oh my god. Oh yes, as I was saying, the minigun here causes hit stun. So, uh, that's useful. Here we are, okay. Now, where was I going? I was going up these stairs. Oh, well, that's the way out. I believe we don't want to go that way yet. So, back down. Um, so, yeah, it was based off Aliens and Evil Dead. Those were the two biggest uh, influences in this game. And you can pretty much tell by looking at it. It's very... Uh, 90s movie-esque. Now that switch is going to cause all hell to break loose. Zip, zip, zoom! If I recall correctly... 
Here it is. That also causes a uh, hit stun, so it uh, can be used to lock enemies up. In the like I said, you gotta be. It's this is a difficult game. <laughs> I am playing on the relative. There we go. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, one of the advancements this game made over its predecessor, Wolfenstein, was a fancy new light. Which is And prevent us from seeing what's coming. Okay. One of these. Or you. Another backpack. I don't think backpacks accumulate. They let you carry more ammo, which is always useful. And there's more critters in here. Come on out, wherever you are. Ha ha ha. You didn't get me. Yes, this mage is very large. Yeah, we keep picking up clips. That is what the uh, minigun here runs on, is clips. I don't think we want to go that way. That's back, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. We want to stay in this maze a bit longer. Check all the nooks and crannies. Kill all the baddies. Collect all the bullets. Yeah, this thing runs off bullets, same as the pistol. So, uh... You know, something to do right now. I knew it! See, we hit stun them so that they couldn't really come after us. I forgot about this the one time I played. It's another hidden area. I think. Yes. We actually did uh, get a little preview of this area before. But I killed all the guys here. Hit the switch. And we get another excellent goodie. The old chainsaw. So, between the boomstick and the chainsaw... You can definitely see the Evil Dead influence. Okay, back into our seizure-inducing hallway here, excuse me. It is pretty alien, too, when you think about it. All these lights flickering on and off in this strange futuristic facility. And I believe we explored everything there is to explore in there. Okay, guys. Now there's this one little section here. Which is, uh, its own thing. Uh, Hello! Could have also gotten that barrel, but it's all good. More goodies, more armor. As you can see, if you, uh, take your time and you kind of know where the secrets are, uh, it's a big help. Uh, the game's not definitely, uh, too difficult to play or too hard. It's, uh, it's a fun game to play. I enjoy it. Uh, for all the ups and downs. Yes, this is where we came through originally. Okay. And that blue hallway is where we started. Did I get everything down here? Yes, I did. Okay. As far as I remember. The chainsaw is the big one. We got that. We got the minigun and everything. Uh, so we're good. Out here, I don't think there's anything new. Okay, excuse me. Losing my balance. And, uh... Oh, yeah. So yeah, there's technically one area, like up there we haven't gotten, I don't know how to get up there though. Uh, but for now we're just going to flip this lever, which gives us two different ways to go, and it doesn't matter which one you take. They all go here, which goes out here, and we're done. Two stages over. Into a corner, and it got me. 
I have to get the definitely the feel for it. Oh, another comrade. I shall avenge you. I already did, but you know, you get the idea. Uh, so yeah, we did pretty good with that. Uh, I'll switch back to our, uh, not the pistol, but the boom stick, so that we'll be ready for the next mission. There we go. Oh, we got most of the stuff. Like I said, I was missing one little bit, but uh, the chainsaw is the one thing I really want to make sure I got. And next, the toxin refinery. Um, now this is uh, the last level where I actually have a clue as to what I'm doing. So uh, let's have at it. I know that there's guys around here. Let's clear out this side first. Oh, I know. There's no more here. Now this is a blue door. We cannot go through here yet. That will be later. Uh, that's another secret area. And uh, this is oh, excuse me, sir. the only door that we can pass through for the moment. Health is good. I'd like to switch back here. I am a sucker for my moves. Oh boy. Just when aiming is not as important, you know. Kind of and the shotgun actually is the most effective against imps. I do know how to get that, so we'll be getting it. There, is a, there you go, that should take care of them. Alright. Now, first we're gonna head down here. And this was the area we were looking at before. And we got ambushed. Oh, I gotta keep. Remember. I gotta remember to keep moving. Come on down. Oh, I thought there was another thing up there. But there is the. Hit this switch. We well, might as well go up here and uh, get what we can. Now, as I was saying, this game is technically, as far as how it's programmed, it's programmed to be a top down shooter. So it's an issue of. Um, it's actually pretty ingenious how it's programmed to convince you. Something similar. Okay. Oh, those things. That's a demon. It used to be called a pinky demon. But uh, what do you call a pinky or a plain old demon? Here's the yellow key. Which may come in handy. There's a couple doors here, but we can't go through them because they're raised up. Okay, now I think I killed everybody, which is good. Okay, now the trick to this is you go down that second flight and you run back up. There we go. And here is dangerous. Guys, you can't look down. So uh, when you're on those stairs, where's my, there it is, a trusty boomstick. I don't think there's anything down here. We'll get ourselves back up to 200% health. Good to go, good to go. Um, ooh, okay. I'm surprised he was so hard to take down. But we got him. Okay, and the rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, we don't want to use that right away. Now we want to go. We're going to have to dash for this. Dash! Woo. Is there a bad guy down here? I heard someone. Hit this switch. Hit this wall. Minigun ammo, health, and another platform that takes us back out to an area we have actually been to. Okay, so it all looks good. We've cleared that. Um, we could do this. Okay, I think that's about the best we can do there. 
Okay, this door. Excuse me, sir. I need the minigun back for the door. Thank you. Doing good, doing good. We're doing fine, guys. Uh, a lot of fun fights. For an old game, it's a surprisingly fun play. That's, that's really how you can tell a classic, I think. Is that uh, years later, you still have fun playing it, despite its age and how dated it is. And I think we got everything here. Uh, a little bit, not really a secret, but a little thing here. You can fall off this edge, hit the switch, and it raises this section. Normally, there's poison down here. And it'll get you, but now that we've got this raised, we don't even have to think about this no more. Do I need shotgun shells? I do not. Okay. Now this area... And I blew myself up. Pardon me. Pardon me! I don't mean to bust in on your little zombie group you got going here. But, uh, you know... Okay, how's my ammo? It's uh, a little low. Rapidly. I entirely expected there, but I did it. Let's switch because we're running low on ammo. I just picked up a bunch, but uh, I think we're good here. So the lights went out as soon as we picked up that key, which was by accident. But they left these little lampposts for us so we can guide ourselves back out. So. That's everything to do just on this side. I got a lot done there. All right, um, we'll backtrack a little bit. Um, so yeah, this game is still a blast to play. I gotta say, it holds up, guys. Now, uh, having done all that, this is open. But I won't take it just yet. There's something else I think we need before I can properly... I'm not gonna go all the way there. There's a thing. Oh, that was me being dumb. Can you go down quicker, please. Okay. Uh, that was uh, more work than I expected it to be. Okay, so both of these come through the same way. I'm thinking the same thing. I gotta switch back to this thing. I hate to switch back to the minigun so much. I've already used so much ammo for it. Minigun really is. Excuse me, sir. I'll use another one. Don't mind me. These guys actually uh, cut in on us quite a bit here. Well, let's see what other goodies we can collect. More bullets. Hopes. Didn't mean to pull the trigger that time. So yeah, still fun to play. Uh, very, very quick, very action-oriented, and uh, lots of secrets. Uh, Non-linear level designs, very good. Um, and the fact that it's not actually 3D just really te helps testify to how good it actually is. So uh, anyways, uh, this is where we will wrap it up. Well, nope, not yet. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself again. Come to think of it, I'm not sure why I went this way now. It uh, would have actually been easier. Well, not necessarily easier. Excuse me. It wouldn't have made a difference. That's the main exit that we hit before. This door will take you to a potential... Well, not to a potential, to a secret egg, exit. This is the room where we killed everybody. But don't get too comfy. Okay, and next up, things are going to get even messier. Now, we do have plenty of room to move around here, so that's the secret. Excuse me, sir. I know you're hunting me, but I'm hunting you. Okay, we actually did pretty good there. Oh, wasting ammo. Alright, um, yeah, that's the window we were looking in before. So yeah, there's a little test area here where they put you through a bit of a, uh, a stress test, as it were. Okay, and, uh, 
this is another door. And that's the other exit. That goes to the secret level. Um, oh, I keep hitting that button. My finger is too sensitive. But this is why I came here for the extra box of rockets. So we've actually got a pretty good bunch of ammunition here. Uh, stats aren't quite as good as I'd like them to be. But I'm not going to take the secret exit. I'm going to head back and take the main one. Because I've visited that secret map before. It was not fun. I did not enjoy myself. It was... <laughs> In fact, a nightmare. So, in spirit of not doing that, I'm just going to head back the way to the main entrance. Because continuing with the main story is how we will be playing this going forward. So that'll wrap up uh, this play session. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, as much as I did. This game is a lot of fun. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Until then, we'll be doing probably some more Hitman. But I'm going to be doing Doom and Hitman side by side. So I hope you guys like it. And uh, until next time, take it easy. Make sure you kill all the dead.